For Thursday's edition of the Water Cooler, I'm joined by our Sun News contributor, Vanden Jean. We're going to lighten things up just a little bit. Vanden, what do you want to start with today? Squirrels in the Grand Canyon? Yeah, hey, Adrian. So <laughs> we're going to talk about that right now okay. about the Grand Canyon How and convenient. squirrels. How convenient. <laughs> Actually, I came in all prepared. I have a little Grand Canyon wristband on, mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't know I was going to do the story until now. So it's uh, Why do you I, have I'm, a Grand Canyon well, wristband? Well, I was actually there a couple of weeks ago on a so great... So you still have your wristband on? Oh, it's uh, well, I bought this one. Oh, you bought it. It's a souvenir, okay. along with my say. little water cooler here. Uh, anyway. This story is about um, a tourist and his friend, as you can see, sh both shirtless, filmed this little bit of a terrible video uh, where they found a squirrel. They found oh. that and kicked that squirrel right there. Yeah, as you can see, very graphic. I think we should have warned the viewers. Uh, they attracted that squirrel with breadcrumbs, and then his friend snuck up behind the squirrel and kicked him off the Grand Canyon. Why on earth would you put that uh, on YouTube or whatever the heck these dum-dums did? Because now, as you see here, PETA's after them. They are, and they put a $16,000 bounty on their heads. <laughs> I didn't know uh, that PETA can put bounties Apparently they can, or at least that's what they're calling it. And okay. they said anyone who can find information to find this convict, they want to call him. We're calling him a convict yeah. already. Uh, they're going to get 16000 bucks. Someone's going to find them. Someone will find them. I mean, it's not going to be hard to trace their IP address. And... Oh, no, not at all. Okay, let's show a picture of you and your squirrel. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at this that. This something that will make PETA happy. Oh, yeah. Uh, squirrels are so cute. So this look little guy little ran guy. into me when I was at the Grand Canyon a couple of weeks ago and posed for the photo. He saw me and he went up like that. Mm -hmm. It's too bad I didn't have a peanut, otherwise I'd give him one. All right. Cute Is squirrels fella. a big problem at the Grand Canyon? No, they're, they're, they're so there. friendly there. Yeah. and They run around and they know people are around okay. there. And so they're, they're almost like mini attractions. A little bit of history being made in the NBA. Mm -hmm. uh, one team has decided to uh, get into the modern world and have hired an assistant coach. I know. As that's, a woman. That's great. It's the San Antonio Spurs. So on Tuesday, I believe, they hired Becky uh, Hammond, mm -hmm. uh, Hammond, yes, as an assistant coach. Uh, and this is the first full-time female assistant coach on any NBA team. So great news here. Mm -hmm. uh, but then CBS Sports, college sports reporters, wanted to know more about this. And they went out uh, to some college coaches and asked an anonymous survey about what their thoughts were. If this could happen uh, on the college level, the NCAA. And mm -hmm. so they found that 42% of the coaches actually said that they thought they would not see a female coach uh, coach a, a Division One team. Men's. Men's, that That's is. That's right. For the uh, NCAA. And actually, one coach made a very disgusting statement and said, quote, a big part of being a college coach is molding boys into successful men. Obviously, women can't do that. I just don't see a place for for it. Well, kudos to the San Antonio Spurs. They've won a lot of rings, and let's see if they win yet another one with this new coach. That's I hope great so. stuff. All right, Vanden, thanks very much for being here. Thank Appreciate you, it. That is our Sun News contributor, Vanden Jean.